We're back with church news. Church news. Church news. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's going on, LD? Oh, just just loving life and, and having a blast. Yes, well, sir. Happy to be here. Tell us something we got to look forward to this Sunday. Yes, yeah, so this Sunday, December fourth, we have our our wonderful worship service. It's at nine a.m. We have Sunday school. And at 10 a.m. we have our worship service. And this week we're going to be, our scripture is going to be Genesis 32, 22 through 24 and 28. Jacob's and, going to wrestle with God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And the theme is uh, Roots, Jesus Come to Us from a People. So we would love to have you worship with us and love to have your children at 9 a.m. for, for Sunday school. And uh, they will also be working on the Christmas program at that yeah. time. So it'll be a great time for the kids to be able to work on that. And at 10 a.m. for the worship service, we would just love to have you. Yeah. And, and on this Sunday, something that I need to mention is Sunday, December 4, 2022. Please bring an ornament from home representing your family uh, to place on our Christmas tree in the sanctuary. So if it's a, an ornament that maybe you would like to uh, represent your family, you can bring it. And it's you can get it back at the end of the, the Christmas season. So... Um, this Sunday, you'll be able to hang it on our Christmas tree. And Kevin, please tell Claire that she can bring edible ornaments. Nice. Yeah, we'll eat them. Yeah, <laughs> they might not make it very long. <laughs> can you bring? Can you, you bring it every better. Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we are going to continue with Wednesday nights for the next few weeks as our children are preparing for that children's Christmas program. So we're going to continue to have a meal. Um, and we're going to continue to do some fellowship for the adults during that time while the, while the children are ha uh, having practice for the Christmas program. So this week, uh, we're going to have uh, chili dogs, uh, hot dogs, um, chili, queso, tortilla chips, um, and dessert. I so can't wait for that. It's going to be good. Sounds I'm excited so good. about it. So good. I love Wednesday nights. Me too. Amen. We're going to have a church ground cleaned up this weekend at 9 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, come with some supplies to help us get the weeds out of the flower beds. We're going to you know, just make our church presentable for uh, the Christmas celebrations we're about to in incur. And so please come and help us out. Um, mo more hands make for light work. So we could use your help uh, with that grounds cleaned up on Saturday. Then that evening, we have our confirmation celebration on Saturday night this week. And so our confirmands uh, are, some of them are going to be baptized, some of them are going to be confirmed, and we're going to have that. It will be at 5 o'clock in the sanctuary on Saturday on Saturday night, and um, the, the kids have decided that they want raisin canes for dinner. Can't blame them on that. Man, they, <laughs> they was, it was a un, unanimous. I bet it was. Unanimous. They're like... Please have lots of sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, Extra cane sauce. So we'll have lots of cane sauce. And, and so I'm, I'm excited. Those, yeah. It's been a joy to be uh, teaching those kids on Sunday evenings. Or Sunday afternoon. I keep saying evening. <laughs> afternoon. And uh, I'm going to miss our time together. But I know that they're going to be coming into the youth group here soon. So I'm excited about that. Hey Amen. How great. How Tell great. us about the angel trees. So buddy. there are still angel trees that are available for adoption. You can stop at the breezeway between the fellowship hall and the sanctuary to adopt your angel. Uh, we want to thank you for helping make this outreach a success each and every single year. And if you have any questions, you can contact Molly Harris. Now the gifts are due on December the 6th. And we do need wrapping supplies. So take paper, uh, tissue paper, wrapping paper, bags, and bows. Mm -hmm. and, and if you could bring those also on December 6th for a donation, we would really appreciate that so that yeah. we would be able to um, have that 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 uh, equipment as well. So, Yes. Such an amazing, amazing. Is, and thank outreach. you, Molly, for all the yes. hard work you do. Molly, our angel trees. just absolutely amazing and such a great thing for yes. the church. Tell us about the Bible study still going on. So Friday mornings, um, there there is the Wonder of Advent, and it started November the 18th. Um, and you can you can come every Friday morning. What time is that at, John? Um, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. And it's yeah. not too late to sign up so that you could come and you could you could definitely be involved in the Friday morning Bible study, learning yeah. learning about the wonders of Advent. It's a four week study, um, and we'd love to have you there. So we already talked about our children's Christmas program a little bit. It's not too late to get your kids involved. And in fact, if you have a kid that, that 
you have a family member, maybe you have a niece, nephew, grandchild who's coming and they want to be in the children's Christmas program, even that day they can come and, and be an angel or a shepherd. There's, there's always room for them. But they are having practice for the children's programs on Wednesday nights. Uh, so that would be the, the 7th, the 14th. And then also, um, and actually t tomorrow night as well, the 30th, they're practicing on Sunday mornings during uh, our children's uh, Sunday school hour and also during children's church during the Sunday morning. So if their kid has a role to play with like a speaking part, be sure that they're there for that. And also that's time where they're going to rehearse the songs they're going to sing and those things as well. I'm so excited to hear that. It, it's going to be fun. And this yes. year we're doing it on a Sunday morning. Yes, so, Miss Kathy yes. and Miss Kendra do an absolute amazing job with those kids. They do. It's just super exciting. Um, so then we also have the Polar Express Respite Night coming up. Uh, Dick and Joanne are in charge of that for their the special needs ministry. Uh, that'll be on the 9th at 6 o'clock. And um, if you have any questions, reach out to Dick and Joanne for that. They're also going to be um, delivering packs to the schools with invitations for that respite uh, this week. So be in prayer for the ministry of the special needs ministry of our church as well. Our youth are uh, going to be doing some fun things here soon too. So on the 7th, on Wednesday the 7th, they're going to go to um, Weatherford to shop for their angel uh, that they've adopted from the angel tree. And then they're going to go to Roll and Ray's Ice Cream and have some fun together there. Um, also, on the 21st, the last day of school, that night, the youth are going to get together for dinner and go ice skating in Mineral Wells. That sounds like, I think I'm going to join like a blast. them. I might go too. <laughs> They'll have something to laugh about if we go. No doubt. No <laughs> doubt. No and then doubt. Uh, lastly, for the youth department, um, there's going to be a parent meeting on the 14th in the evening. Uh, we'll do 3 o'clock for that parent meeting. Um, um, for the youth parents on the 14th. We have a couple more, more things we want to talk about. Yeah. Tell us about the live nativity. So the live nativity is going to be on December the 17th uh, between the hours of 6 and 8, 8 p.m. It's an absolute amazing uh, setup. They're, they're going to, you, you'll be able to walk through the town of Bethlehem with us and share the joy of the, the Christmas season. I believe they're going to have vendors, uh, some yes. vendors as well. Yep. So it's just going to be an absolute wonderful time where, where you'll be able to see a live nativity scene. Yeah. And so sign up on Sunday if you want to have your family be a part of the marketplace for that live nativity. Yes. And then Christmas Eve. Oh man, I'm so excited about Christmas Eve. We're having three worship services this year, four, seven, and ten. And on Sunday morning, we're going to start our sign-up sheet for volunteers for Christmas Eve services. Uh, you can volunteer to help out in the parking lot with refreshments, uh, being an usher or greeter, uh, or being a scripture reader. We, we need your help to make this Christmas Eve a fantastic experience for our community. We're going to be inviting our community to come and join us. Uh, this next Sunday, we're going to be um, going to Hometown Christmas. So we ask you this Sunday, wear your church shirts to church. Following the worship service, we're going to have a, a little brief time. We're going to talk about how we're going to invite people to our Christmas Eve services at Hometown Christmas. And then we're going to go to Hometown Christmas and, and be a light out mm -hmm. there and, and invite people to come and join us for our, our Christmas Eve services. Amen. I'm excited about it. Um, Christmas Eve is is just a fantastic night, and uh, I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled. I can't and, wait. And this is our first Christmas Eve with with LD. Yes, yes. And so I'm I'm excited <laughs> about it. Yes, Looking sir. Forward me to too. It. Me too. Well, we will hope you have a blessed day uh, and have a good rest of your week. We'll see you tomorrow uh, for the well and uh, and on Sunday morning. God Amen. bless you. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye.